I wanted to show you the circuit that I made um, for wind turbines to collect power at, at low voltages uh, out of the alternator, low wind speeds. So this is basically what it does. It basically takes just a little bit of power, creates really high voltage. And um, with that high voltage, you can charge higher voltage batteries than the source. So, the fluorescent is just to demonstrate that, but it's a, it's a really simple little circuit. Anyway, I'll show you how it works. All right, here's the circuit. The wind turbine would connect here negative, positive, and I'm just going to simulate this. Um, I don't have a Hall effect on an alternator, so what I'm using is a is an electronic flasher, so it's just going to intermittently kick voltage into this cell. This is a 9 volt. So, let's say the wind turbine is putting out 10 volts. It's going to come through here, charge this, and this feeds the jewel thief, which drives the load. So either a light bulb, or we can come off here and charge an 18 volt. So let me uh, hook it up and I'll show you what it does. Alright, lighting the fluorescent off a 9 volt. And that's going to run this battery down. So if we have a wind turbine hooked up, this is my wind turbine, into here. Now the electronic flasher is kicking voltage into this cell. Now, that's kind of annoying, so we probably wouldn't run the, the bulb that way. It's going gonna, it's gonna to use up the uh, voltage in this. Because this 9 volt can't keep up. So basically we're pulsing, you know, 100 volts or so into this bulb right now. Okay, let's say we want to charge a larger battery. Here's our larger battery. We are at 17.72 volts. And now I'm going to forget the light bulb. And we are going to charge our battery. So hook this up. Watch the voltage. Okay, now the bulb's gone out. Now we're charging battery. So basically we have this 9 volt getting surges of power through the jewel thief and we are charging an 18 volt battery pack. Let's let it run for a minute. Now off this pack we can run an inverter draw power off for running small appliances or lighting or whatever. So that's our wind turbine. It's kicking out power. Now if this kicks out more power than this circuit needs, what we'll do is we'll come off here with the diode and just kick it straight into this pack. But it won't go into this pack until it exceeds that voltage. Pretty cool. So again, this gets replaced with a Hall effect on the alternator. So it would kick in once per RPM. And 
go. And this gets replaced with a much larger cell. Probably six volt. Could double or triple or quadruple the number of these if needed. And my guess is this will be a 12 volt battery pack because it's probably the most useful, simplest for inverters, simple tools. The light bulb is just for a demonstration and for fun, but you could you could run uh, a couple light bulbs off this if the cell was bigger. It just barely was charged when we started. But that's what that's what we're talking about. And that's pretty bright. I'm gonna take the wind turbine off and see if it'll stay on. Nope. Used up all the juice in that battery. Yeah. One other thing I want to show you is even though even though this can't fire the fluorescent, it's got plenty of power left. Hook it up. It's got plenty of power left to uh, charge this battery.